welcome to our get cacit tutorial today our topic is binary tree in this lecture we are going to discuss three very important problems let us check the first one a scheme for storing binary trees in an array x is as follows indexing of x starts at 1 instead of 0 the root is stored at x1 for a node Store at xi, the left child, if exist, is stored at the location x2i. And the right child, again, if it is exist, will store at 2i plus 1. Now, we have to find out, to be able to store any binary tree of n vertices, the minimum size of x will be one of the four choices. A, B, C or D. Now here we have to find out the minimum size of the array X which will be able to store any binary tree of any kind of structure with N vertices and that also satisfy the given property of storing. If we look at the problem carefully, how we are storing the element of the binary tree in the array X is similar as we store in a heap that may be max heap or mean heap. Now if we take an example of n is equal to 7. Now if our binary tree is a complete binary tree then we can store 7 nodes and the indexing of the nodes will be root node index will be 1 and this will be 2 this is 3 this will be 4 2 into 2 2 into 2 plus 1 5 6 and 7 and it is clear that maximum index of the binary tree is of the leftmost child at any level now consider if the tree is a right skewed binary tree in that case we need maximum amount of space if we take an example and choose n is equal to 5 in that case and we draw the right skewed tree then 1 node 2 3 4 5 all are right child for the root node the location will be 1 and next it will be 1 into 2 plus 1 3 this will be 7 15 and 13 1 we can also express this location as 2 to the power 1 minus 1 2 to the power 2 minus 1 so in general the number of location we need in array x for a right skewed tree is 2 to the power n minus 1 so to store any kind of binary tree in the fashion which is mentioned in the problem itself we required minimum 2 to the power n minus 1 number of location in our array x so our correct answer will be d now in the next problem in a binary tree with n nodes every node has an odd number of descendants every node is considered to be its own descendant what is the number of nodes in the tree that have exactly one child now in this problem if we consider a node n which does not have any child node that is a live node it also have one descendant because it is mentioned that a node is considered to be its own descendant now if the node has only one child node then it has two descendants and if it is has two child node then it will be considered it has three descendants and we also know that a binary tree can have maximum two child nodes so a node may have one descendant two descendant or three descendant so our job is to find out how many number of nodes in the tree that have exactly one child node and it is also mentioned that every node has odd number of descendant to have odd number of descendant the node should have two child node or don't have any child node so it is clear that this tree don't have any node which has only one child node so the correct answer is zero number of node have one child so the correct answer is a
Now come to the next problem. The height of a tree is the length of the longest root to leaf path in it. The maximum and the minimum number of nodes in a binary tree of height 5 will be one of the four options. Now for any arbitrary binary tree, let us assume this is a binary tree. In this binary tree, the height of the tree is the root to leaf distance in the longest path. We may consider this path or this path. Both are the longest path. In this path, we have two connecting edges. So height of the tree will be two. Now for a given height of a tree, we'll have maximum number of nodes when it is a complete binary tree. For example, if we have a complete binary tree like this of height is equal to here the height is 2, the number of node will be 2 to the power 3 minus 1 that is 7 and it will have minimum number of node if it is a left or right skewed tree. That is if we have a right skewed tree with height 2, number of node will be 3. So we have maximum number of node when the tree is complete tree and we will have minimum number of node when it is a skewed tree. So here the height is mentioned is 5. For a complete tree, the number of node will be 2 to the power 6 minus 1 that is 63 and for a skewed tree the number of node will be 5 plus 1 that is 6 that's why answer number A is the correct answer. Thank you for the timing.